Hi everybody, this is Shivani. I just wanted to connect with you um, because uh, I've been con connected with a lot of people in the last 24 hours and um, there's just one thing that everybody is saying and that is I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed. It's so intense. It's so overwhelming. It is. And I wanted to let you know, yeah, it is. It is really intense right now. But I want you to know that A, you're not alone. B, if you're watching this video, then you are, this is where you're meant to be. This is what we signed up for. This is, you know, you get on the roller coaster, you know you're in for a ride. Um, you've, you've signed up for this. This is, this is what you agreed to um, before you even came into body. And this is, this is it. This is what we came for. So we can get scared or we can get excited. And really that's, um, the energy is, is not going to change because it's bigger than us. But how you respond to it, how you react to it, how you interact with it is different. Right. And just think of that roller coaster. You can scream with delight and just completely surrender or you can like hold on for dear life and close your eyes and hate every second of it and can't wait to get off. Um, but the ride is going to be the same length. It's going to have the same ups and downs. The only difference is how you respond to it. So what happens if you stop fighting the overwhelm? What happens if the overwhelm starts teaching you? that your current reality, where you are putting your life force energy, is actually going against the flow of where you need to be. What if the overwhelm was a pressurizing purification to push you in a direction that is where you're going to be optimally? Right. So what if we could stop fighting the overwhelm and what if we could let it start teaching us kind of like playing operation, you know, when you're like trying to get the little thing out and it goes, bzz, bzz. right. That's kind of what it's like right now. Overwhelm. OK, let's go back over here. Overwhelm. Let's go back over here, because I can tell you that the flow of energy when you're not bouncing into the corners of overwhelm is exhilarating. It is delicious, absolutely delicious, but you've got to be willing to align. And how do you align? You need touchstones. Touchstones are everything right now. And you've got to have these touchstones to help calibrate, help calibrate the mind, help guide and the, the emotions so that you can use the energy to propel you forward rather than shake you up. So uh, let me know uh, how you're going in the comments. Uh, and um, if you'd like me to make a video about what the touchstones I'm using right now, I'm happy to do that. Just shoot me a message in the cont uh, contents and um, I'll make a video for you tomorrow. All right. Ciao.